so it's uh, time to fire this thing up in anger. Um, got it all cl uh, cleaned out, <laughs> and uh, that's what's going to go into it. I found a little more, more uh, of, a, of a vodka wash that I was, or neutral wash that I was doing um, at home. I grabbed a bit of that. So there's roughly no, 80, 80 litres or so of wash there. And um, also got this, which has some heads and tails, planes, and that's probably about 60%, 70% by volume in there. Yeah. So uh, I backed the truck up because the, the kettle is quite tall. I uh, don't want to be lifting that stuff up over my shoulders or at shoulder height to try and get it in the in the top there. It's going to be a pain in the butt, so I'll just stand on the back of the truck and um, tip it in there with the large funnel. Here's the starting temp. 17 in the head. I've just filled the kettle up. Um, it's sitting probably around just over halfway somewhere. Oops. Halfway there. The um, thing I've got to compensate for is a massive great gap in, in between here, my flake stand and the uh, the head there of the still. Uh, I've got some copper so I'll just make a little bridge for that with a couple of little tri-clamp uh, fittings. Spud! Enough! Enough! Uh, so we'll start the thing running now. And uh, should be away. I've got probably an hour or so to, to, to make that little bridge, which is plenty of time. So I'll get on to get on to that now. Oh, we're having a bit of a slow start at the moment. Uh, I've been a I've been a clumsy dip today. I managed to uh, knock the control box over and smash one of the fans. Uh, this one over from that corner. But uh, there's no dam other damage to the control box apart from that little grid face plate there and, and the original fan which is munted. Um, so I just ransacked a, another one out of an old PC and uh, we're away again. I have to check inside, there's nothing nothing untoward with anything uh, going on inside the box. That's all, that's all uh, as it should be. Oh, we're up to 28 degrees there. And uh, yeah, it's all kicking off. I've got the um, still set up, got my little bridge in there to go from my output of my line arm down to the flake stand there. I'm wary of that amount of water being right over that element there uh, is sealed, but still I just that gives me the gives me the willies. Uh, I've got my first jar here ready for for um, the uh, four shots to start coming out of there. I can smell bananas. And that's, yeah, <laughs> quite, a, it's quite a sweet smell coming out of that thing at the moment. Um, but what's in there is uh, two, two 25 litre batches of um, a, a rice experiment that I did. Um, I think there's, a, there's a, about a 25 litre corn in there, uh, a sugar wash vodka, and then, then a, about three or four litres of veins that were about 70%. Um, so it was, it was all experimental stuff that can, uh, I can afford. Well, I wouldn't want to distill it out seriously. Um, I'm not even sure of the alcohol percentage in there, but I'm figuring it'll be around somewhere 10 percent, give or take. Um, the experiments that didn't go so well, they'll, they'll, they still ferment it out, but um, they'll be around 10 percent. That's what I usually aim for. Well, it's it crawled its way up to. Uh about 29 degrees over in the head over um, about an hour and uh, just in the last five minutes it's hit a spike or hit, hit a point where it's going to spike and if you watch the pit now it's, uh, it's racing it's kind of been jumping up in about three three degree increments over every ten minutes and now you're getting a degree in the head every, every um, I don't know, 20 seconds or so Box is still box is still nice and cool. Heat sinks are cool. Air coming out of the bottom there is is cool. It's drawing in cool air, but it's going nuts. What I might do is let it run up to six, uh, run up to seventy, 
um, sort its, let the PID sort its stuff out, and then I'll knock back the power regulators and let it slowly creep up to, to 78 and see what starts coming out the spout. Although, having said that, we're starting to get just the first rips there now. And that's pretty accurate. That, that, I, I had a whiff of what was just the, the fumes out of that about two, two, three minutes ago. That was really acrid, sort of um, nasty acetone smells. I'm going to take at least a litre of, of that stuff off just because of the size of the wash in there now. So I'll fill up that um, that quart jar there. I think it's about about, about um, a litre up to the top there. What I've been doing over here, where are we at? We're at 61. Yeah, every, every 10 minutes or so, I, oh, every 10 minutes on the nose, um, I'm just recording the, uh, the values for um, how it's going. And you see it's gone a couple of degrees each every 10 minutes up to this point, or in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> it's jumped almost you know, 31, 32 degrees there. Anyway, I'll um, let it run up to let it run up to 70, which is almost there. Yeah. And then I'll knock it back and just let it cool, let the pit sort itself out. I got up to 70, I, got, I had it crawl up to uh, 74 at 75% uh, um, power. The problem I've got here, that one's held it, the PID switches off for too long. These regulators can lose their setting, which is not ideal for my applications. <laughs> Bugger! Um, oh no, no, let's hold it. I don't know how uh, I feel about relying on that, but um, worst comes to worst, uh, long term I can replace them with uh, like knob style potentiometer type power regulators. But it's nice to I see the um, little digital readout like that, call points and all that. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, holding this. Uh, vapor temp in the heat at, at 75. I've got a nice little st continuous stream of um, four shots and nasties coming off there, and that smells really bad. <laughs> really volatile, nasty acetone smell. So I'll come back. I've got. Oh, I've only just started collecting what? About, about 200 ml or so of that. About 100 ml of that. So uh, I'll come back when that's filled up. Well, I've just um, popped it up to 83. Um, this is going to be kind of a stripping run. It's a hot still configuration, um, and uh, what I've got off so far is a jar of four shots. It's about a litre of four shots, which is more than enough for the 80 litres or so that, that went in there. And um, one jar there that came off about 70% um, and 81 degrees from the in the pit, 81 degrees in the uh, um, still head, and now just started collecting in a jug. Like I say, it's going to be a stripping run. Um, and I've just, once I went to the jug, I put the uh, temperature up to 80, crept it up to 83, and it's uh, feeding out at a reasonable, reasonable rate there. Um, once it starts waning off, I'll uh, just bump it up a little bit more. We'll see how that goes. Uh, started off at uh, seventy percent ABV, or just over seventy percent ABV, and before an upsurge hits it, it's, it's around seventy there now. If I come up there, before the upsurge hits it, it's, it's sitting just on seventy more or less.